and welcome back to uh, part two of tonight's hack attack. We are going to jump straight in now with international master Amit Garzi, who was uh, my challenger last week, and he is back for revenge playing some one minute chess. So, we're going to go jump straight into the action with an early Dutch defense. Um, my opponent's playing the very solid two knight c3 line against this. Uh, I haven't had any time to adjust to playing one minute instead of three, so I'm going to try and move as quickly as I can. Uh, I wonder if my opponent's prepared some uh, some new opening lines to get out of this kind of trick. Knight uh, c6. What's going on here? He's taking a long time. Um, bishop e2. Well, can't I just play knight e4? Bishop takes e7, queen takes e7. Oh, he decides to go back. Well, isn't he going to be in awful trouble when I just pin him on b4? Let's see how this works out. Queen d3, I've got queen a5. Then bishop d2. He might be holding it together just. But what if I play knight takes e5 first? Pawn takes I've got d4, so... Have I not got a d4 here? This looks like horrendous. Uh, well, I've got lots of moves here. This looks like the easiest. Knight takes f2 also looked good. Queen takes d4 now loses to knight takes e2, of course. Uh, moves. Got to make moves. Moves as quickly as I can. And I am only one pawn up at the end of all of this, somehow. Uh, there's a second pawn. And ooh, just go bishop d7 here. 27. Oh, I am still up on the clock. That's... Definitely good news. Uh, oh, making this more difficult than I needed to, but hey ho. Uh, oh, and push over here. My opponent's down to barely any time. Should be comfortable enough now, so long as I don't blunder a horrendous amount of material. Um, I'm just considering whether or not I need to make an adjustment to my settings because at the moment I can't hear any of the sounds uh, for uh, for the board oh and as I'm worrying about that I'm almost about to lose on time oh no that would be horrendous and fortunately I get checkmate um can, you can hear the sound for, to, for the board I'm just checking with my producer yeah it's fine okay well we'll sort that out during the next break um, okay. Uh, well, I almost messed that game up, but I did manage to take a lead. We're hoping this is going to be a best of seven, or just a seven game match kind of thing. Um, so, game number two, we have uh, a Philidor, and um, I've chosen a reasonably solid line against it, uh, just because I want to get my pieces out to sensible squares, and then come up with an attack after that. Uh, let's get my king tucked away safely in the corner. Uh, and then maybe push for e5 later on. Let's go knight f5. Now I'm threatening knight h6, picking up a pawn. Okay. g6 is a good move to avoid that. But I have all of my pieces to ready to attack. So let's get this attack going. Knight h5, queen g4, queen h4. Queen h4 maybe looks a little bit more accurate. Uh, ooh, he's grabbing a pawn. How greedy. Uh, and then let's try knight e4. Knight takes e4, bishop takes e4, and then I'm threatening bishop c3. Really going for lots of tricks here. And it looks like I've confused my opponent. Maybe he can take and then go queen takes b2. But that's going to give me time to, to maybe find an aggressive move. Um, because at the moment I don't have one. Maybe bishop e3? Ooh. F6. Well, this looks like a lot of weaknesses. Um, well, queen takes e4 is a... Oh no! Oops. I won't finish that sentence. Uh, I guess I'm still up on the clock, but oh no. Oh no is my general feeling about this position. I, I certainly deserve to lose this game. And I think I will, even with the time difference. Uh, ooh, slightly odd moves from my opponent there. Uh, 
AK, I think I should just resign. It's just hopeless. Well, so, it's already gone better than last week for my opponent, as he manages to equalise the game immediately at one all. Um, okay, let's play a Sicilian. See how this one goes. Oh, and uh, a Rosalimo. Um, oh, it's taking me a little bit longer to move things than I would normally like. An early H4 there. Um, wow, I've kind of carelessly played into a lot of theory. But uh, I don't know. That's just a general comment. I don't even know what I don't know. I don't know something. Uh, theory and good moves and... Okay, uh, and when to shut up apparently. Okay, um... What is going on in this position? Uh, takes bishop a6. Well, I have the two bishops. That's a good thing. Neither of our kings is safe. That's an entertaining thing. And neither of us knows what to do. That's just par for the course, really. Um, well, I, I'm not sure what to say about this position. Uh, so I'm going to continue to play moves. And hopefully that will be of some use. Takes, queen takes d4, e5. I've got to watch out for knight f5 now, uh, which is indeed what my opponent plays straight away. Knight h6, I can go king g7, queen e3, d4, and I get two pieces for the rook. Oh, can I not take that off? No, I can't. Whoops. That's annoying. And d4, I think, is safe. Oh, no, it's not safe. Oh, and I'm dropping a pawn. Um, what's the material situation? The material situation is I'm pawn down, uh, but it's, both of us are very short on the clock. He's playing a lot better this week, and uh, oh, that seemed a little bit strange. And takes. I've got quite good compensation for a pawn here. Wow, that's a move I didn't expect. And what's going on here? Well, I should be winning in this position, but I'm down on the clock, so who knows. Oh, and here, and takes. And takes, and rook check, and rook back. This is just madness now. And rook over there. Oh, and I did manage to win that one on time. Ooh, that was quite stressful. Um... Just, I'm just finding it more difficult to, to get a handle on how to beat this guy compared to last week. Let's try 1d4. See if that confuses him. He knows that I'm an e4 player. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try this favourite very solid three c3 setup. Which just allows me to get ready to go e4 later on. Ooh, almost. Oh, maybe I should have taken on f6 there. Almost certainly I should have taken on f6, but oh well. And playing this, and then quick e4, e5 is the plan. Uh, he's going to go e5 in response, though, I think. Uh, I think he's going to go e5. Oh, no, he plays knight h5. That's another very standard way of dealing with it. So I'm going to put my queen on e3. And he does eventually play e5. I'm going b4 to take away the c5 square from his knight, because that looked like it could be potentially very annoying. Uh, no idea who's better in this position, but I'm going to assume it's me because it's more fun if I do that. Uh, oh, almost put my queen on pre. That would not help. That would be a bad idea. Uh, that was also a bad idea, but not as bad as losing the queen. In fact, maybe not bad at all because of compensation. Oh, and then because of winning queen. So that worked out well. Um, just need to move faster. And let's go h4 here. Knight takes h4. I can play knight takes followed by rook f6. This should be pretty simple now. And my opponent does resign. Well, that was... I'd like to say it was more convincing. But um, it wasn't. Uh, my opponent blundered his queen. Um, let's try and play a high quality game here. Let's slow down. Play a French defence instead of a Sicilian. And uh, let's see what he plays. Well, a French Tarash. So I'll play the Guimar against that. And 4c3 is irritating. I don't actually have a very good record against this, but 
I think maybe e5 has caught my opponent off guard a little bit here. Um, well, I'm trying to think of interesting ways of playing this position. We have managed to keep the queens on here. I don't think either of us wanted this game to um, suddenly turn really boring. Uh, I almost got overexcited there and tried g5, but uh, just in time I realised that it was rubbish. And uh, that it was so rubbish that I couldn't bring myself to play it. Uh, I'm just trying to open up the position while my opponent's king is in the centre of the board. Uh, why can't I take that? We're going to find out. Probably there's going to be a good reason. But I don't care. Uh, okay, let's get the king out of problems. Knight takes e4 is going to be what he plays. I'll go bishop g7 to hit this. And now... Oh, he's going to get castled on the king's side. Queen e6. I need to get out of this pen. Oh, if queen e6, then knight c5. Okay, let's hope he doesn't go knight c5. Don't go knight c5. Oh. It's just like... I mean, you better not be watching the broadcast. No, I'm sure he's just a good player. and that. Uh... Oh no, I'm just losing all of my pieces. Um, please let me go mate on h2. Come on, fall for that. No, okay. Um, oh, queen c6. Queen a6 is just really annoying in the sense of um, unavoidable mate is sometimes annoying. Uh, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh no, I've lost on time. No, I think there was, there was literally nothing I could do about that, mate. So... He pulls it back to 3-2. Uh, this is best of seven, don't forget. I think we're going to play seven games, whatever happens. And uh, our opponent's just coming up with a plan to face 1-f4. And, uh, okay, so we have like a reverse classical Dutch here, but White has gained at least one extra tempo, possibly two. So I'm going to try swinging the queen around to h4 very, very quickly. Uh, okay, knight to g4. That's kind of cheating to try and swap the queens off like that. But, um, oh well. Maybe I should have put this knight on c3 earlier on. Really have to be careful not to get my queen caught in the centre of the board here. That would be uh, really careless. But okay, the queen does find its way back to h4. Now I'm ready to play bishop h6 or bishop g5. And bring all of my pieces over. So I think I've completed development long before my opponent has. And I should be somewhat better here. Um, if I had a plan. Uh, let's go d4. d5, maybe I can play knight e5. Let's tuck the king in the corner. My opponent's defending this pretty well. What's the time situation? Dead evens. Oh no, I meant to go to d2. I've just dropped a piece. Well, um, oops. Uh, that was the word I was always searching for. And okay, he's just going to win with knight g3 now. Oh, I just put a piece on pre. Going to blame that on something. Ah, oh, it's probably my fault. Okay, come on. So, decider. Let's see what we can do. What to play. Is he going to open up? Well, okay, he's gone for knight f3. Looks like we might be going back to our most normal openings for this deciding game. I may well talk a little bit less in this game because I'm really focused on making sure I win this best of seven. I will of course try and tell you as much about what I'm thinking as possible. I'm just trying to wait for him to play e4. Or oh, maybe I need to go bishop d7 there. Okay. This is complicated, but I think this is okay for me. Knight a5, rook c8. This is pretty much what um, some guy recommends for, for white. Uh, I'm not going to try and think of the guy's name. It's not important. He's a GM. He's a good player. It's an annoying line. Um, oh no, what's going on here? I must have some good moves. If anyone can see good moves for me, then please shout them out. Uh, oh no. I want to go h5. I just want to mate. It's all. Oh, he's going to go e4. And win my piece. 30... Oh, I'm a few seconds down the clock. Right. Let's get this attack going. 
Queen takes. Rook f3. G4. Ooh, no, look, I can win material. Yay for winning of material. Um, takes. Rook here. I'm a pawn up. Is that going to be enough? Probably not. Not on its own. 24 seconds. Oh, that's a really good move. He's got, he had rook takes e7 tricks. Well, that was a really clever move. Um, this is what happens when all of your opponents are really good players. Uh, uh, g4. What's going on here? Wow, well, this is tense. I'm. Oh, what? He moved. Right, I need to be quiet. Takes, takes. What is going on here? Uh, let's give this rook move a go and rook takes here a go. Oh no, that's really annoying. How come all of his moves are annoying and good? He says. Am I going to lose on time? I don't know. Who's losing on time here? One of us is losing on time. Oh, and it's me. No, it's him. What? I don't know. I literally don't know anything. <laughs>